Hi, and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com. My name is Amos Leers, I am a 3D environment artist, and in this tutorial we will go over a quick overview of Octane Render. So what is Octane Render? Basically Octane Render is a real-time rendering program, but not the same like the usual MOM set or anything. This can render high quality CG um, renders, both high poly and low poly. So I will just get started and then you can see it. So basically when you open up Octane Render for the first time, you will get this screen. So we will just jump in and just load in our model. So if you have a model, doesn't matter if it's 30 million polys or just 1k uh, polys, um, Octane Render can handle it. So basically every um, export needs to be OBJ files. So once you have a OBJ file, what you want to do is in this little window, just press right click, Alt Node, Environment, or I mean Geometry, and then Mesh. And then you, you can import your OBJ file. So Octane Render works with um, nodes. So just so you know that. So basically now what you want to do is you want to load it in. So here we have our source files. And in my case I picked a low poly container that I made a while ago. So if you click on it you will immediately see the top view updated. So if you zoom out, if you uh, press Alt and click, or actually you can just press click, then you can rotate. And if you press your right mouse click, you can move it. So let's move this window down a bit so we can see it better. So now you see that it's already rendering with a nice AO, which is standard for um, Octane Render. So if you assign materials to this, uh, you can see that now it is using one material and then you can also assign text to it. Uh, but I do not have any text for this, so I will just make a quick nice little render. So basically you have your preview configuration. If you double click that, it will open up a lot of other nodes. So just make them organized a bit nicer like this. And you have your mesh preview environment. You can delete that one. So the only node that you want to add to this is you want to press your right, right mouse button. Add node, environments and then daylight. And then click and drag it onto the purple button. And now you can see that we have our extra light. So if you press daylight, basically you have a lot of values that you can edit. But here you have your little um, world screen and if you click on there and drag it you can literally get the shadows and the light of places in the world. So basically it's nice to just tweak to get something nice. So let's see what we can get. So I like to stay I like to have both of this looks okay. Maybe it's nice to have some light over here. Let's see. You can just tweak this a lot. So I will keep it like this. That looks nice. So now what you can do, you have a few things that you can edit. You have your turbine and basically this will make the um, back um, back sky brighter. You have the power, of course it speaks for itself. It will make everything brighter. So let's turn that up a notch like this. And you don't really need to use the other things right now for this quick review. So let's just go one by one with all the notes. So in the mesh preview kennel, most of the time if you have um, a specular map or a gloss map, you can edit them with the strength. You have your AO distance that you can um, increase to get a bigger distance in the AO. Basically, basically all names say already what it does. So the max samples, 
uh, at the bottom here you can see that it is sampling so the longer you wait the better quality the image will be but of course we don't need 16k uh, samples so we'll just keep it at around 200 something like this and then you can see that it will render all those samples um, for the rest here you can change the um, type of uh, render mode for example if I set it on ambient it will uh, use the sky if I set it on simple environment it will also use the sky but since we now are using a daylight environment and not a simple environment that doesn't really work that good but I like to just keep it on ambient occlusion so the mesh preview proposing basically this will be your uh, image effect so if you press enable here you can change the bloom to make it a lot brighter like this and the glare you can make that one bright too um, basically you can just play around you can change the blur but for a simple model like this we don't really need a lot of it but you can just play around with it I encourage you to try out everything so the mesh preview imager here you can change the exposure to make it brighter uh, the ISO is basically the contrast oh no wait the gamma is the contrast and the ISO uh, will make everything well also brighter but in a different way than with the um, exposure so let's set that something to this you can add some more vignetting and the saturation speaks for itself to make it in this case a bit more blue so that's basically it for the mesh preview so we already had the daylight environment and um, for the mesh preview camera um, basically I do not touch this because well I almost never use it it has some camera settings that you can use uh, most of it is even for animating because you can also make a small animation in Octane but I don't really use it so the mesh preview um, resolution so in your uh, preview if you press ctrl and scroll then you can scroll out the window without scrolling out the um, actual model and in here you can change a lot of previews so for example if you want to set it high or low but how higher the uh, preview is how slower the previewer will be so it will also make your, your computer slower so if I select like this it will be a lot bigger and the image will be this size too if you are making a screenshot but if I want to rotate it right now because I'm also recording of course it will be even worse but then it will be harder to um, get the speed in it so basically this was almost somebody it for a quick review you you can change a lot of things you can also change the background by going um, over here I mean, I mean this one and then you can change the background to something and um, of course Octane Render also has a lot of tutorials so basically the last thing what I want to show you is uh, how to make a higher resolution image so let's go to the um, digital broadcast and then go to 1920 by 1080 and basically if we now zoom out and get a nice shot of our um, of our model it's a bit slow especially because of the recording and now what you want to do is you want to just wait a bit for the samples to, to be higher so I won't wait too long so basically in here you have uh, you can copy your image or you can save your image so I will just save my image as a PNG 8 bit and just save it wherever you want and let's just call it uh, container preview or something and basically now you have your image so as you can see it's a nice high quality image so it's very easy for some quick renders and if you spend some more time in it you can get some very detailed renders in it so that was about it for this tutorial my name is Emma Slegers and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com